What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another single player video for Farming Simulator 2017. And in today's video, we are going to be mainly focusing on placeables. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right here, this is what we're talking about. The these things right here. Oh, oh there we go. So we got a bee house, we got a greenhouse uh, with tomatoes, and we also have one with lettuce, and then we have a solar collector. So it's gonna take us a few videos, um, probably till we have a ton of money saved up to get the solar collector. Uh, I got all my fields going right now. Everybody's working around the clock really hard at everything. But I think today we're gonna focus on the bee house and maybe uh, towards the end of the video we'll try and drop in a greenhouse with tomatoes. So let's buy one of these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this big area in the middle here and this is what we're gonna convert to our actually not this mm, let me think all right yeah well i think it's i think all of this hay in the middle here is getting in the way everybody let's see yeah i think that's getting in the way here let's look around here where could we place these hmm i really like this area because it's not used like for anything all right we'll go along here along this edge all right so i'll set the first the house right here all right, now let's go look at it. All right, so, oh yeah, you can hear them buzzing and everything. All natural honey. So this one, we do not have to do a single thing to. We just stand here and it pretty much produces money. We don't really have to do a single thing to help it along. I mean, it'd be kind of cool if you could go in there and take the honey and all that, but you don't. So that's kind of all you got to do for this one. It generates money. Um, I think it's something like fifteen dollars an hour, eight dollars a day. Um, eight dollars a day to run it. Um, it makes twenty-five dollars an hour. So I mean, it. Uh, I think I think it it just makes then yeah yeah. So it, it makes plenty of money. It makes some money. Um, not a lot. You need a lot of these to probably start generating large amounts to cover the costs of them. But I mean, we're placing it just to place it just to see what happens. But let's go hop in. Let's do. Actually, no. Let's go. Let's go in the Duramax. All right. Yeah. Last video, we cleaned the Duramax up. It's all looking nice. It's looking shiny. We're gonna go grab the tipper. Where is the chaff tipper at? Huh. So somewhere around here, I have a tipper with a bunch of chaff in it that we need to go drop off. Oh, there it is. I think it's still has chaff in it. It probably does because I was getting a little lazy after making like, I think I made like 10 trips just dropping off a ton of chaff. So we're just going to snag up this chaff and then we're going to snag up this chaff. Then we'll make a few uh, loads of, I think, whatever we have in our uh, silos right there. We'll empty the silos, get some money, and then we'll go for the greenhouse. And then um, on the way back here, I'm going to fill up this tipper with a bunch of manure and check both ways before we go. So we're going to fill up this tipper with a bunch of manure. And here, hold on a second. Let me fix something. There we go. I had to go and fix something for a second. But here we are. We're back in it. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go drop off this chaff. And then we will bring back a nice... Probably not... We're not going to fill this thing up with manure. Let me say that. We might... Should we grab a manure fork? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, we, we might we might grab a manure fork too. Maybe just to help. Cause I'm wondering, cause the universal bucket only picks up like a thousand something. Maybe the manure fork can pick up a lot more. I don't know. We'll find out though. We'll, we'll check it. So let's go up here. Try not to be too squirrely. Cut up over here. All right, so yeah, we'll drop off all this chaff. Actually, let's check and see how the cows are doing for quick, just a quick second. Oh, cows are gonna need to be tended to later. I'll do that off camera though. Uh, I do plenty with the cows on there. Ooh, how many cows are we at? 23 still. 23 is not bad. All right, so here is all of our chaff. Let's crank this wheel. Oh, calm down there, Betsy. She is not sounding happy. 
All right. So let's drop this all off right here. I'm gonna try and keep it all within this area and make sure it doesn't overflow. All right. Bring it back in. Now let's grab some manure. So the way the greenhouses work is the greenhouses work only with uh, you have to have water and manure to get them to like their full. I don't know what you want to call it. Just like the f being complete and like uh, full production. That's what I'm trying to say. It gets them to their full production, and that's what you want. All right. So. Hmm. Let's go here. Let's go look at our headers. Da, da, da. Nope, not headers. Uh, front loaders. Let's look for manure. Uh, manure fork. Picks up 1,280. Universal bucket picks up more. Is the universal bucket just more? Hmm. It's only 400 bucks more. Dude, that's crazy. Definitely want to use the universal bucket. All right, I am going to, okay, I'm gonna do some quick tending to the cows, and I'm gonna fill up uh, some of this manure, so I will be right back. All right, everybody, so I just had a quick idea. Now, keep in mind, this idea was not mine. I, uh, I saw this idea pop across um, one of the comments um, on the last video. I think it was on the one with the fur where I started fertilizing for the first time, but I think it'll work. I'm gonna go over here really quick. I'll, I'll tell you guys what it is. You use a pulley, or not not pulley, what am I thinking? Conveyor belt. You use a conveyor belt to, yeah, to load trailers. Yeah. It'll make it a lot easier. Alright, so does this one carry poop? Um. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think we're, I think this one can carry poop. So we're gonna take this guy. We're gonna make it hmm, orangish yellow, kind of like a gold. All right. All right. So we got it. Now I think we can hook it up to this trailer. We've used it. I've used these tons of times. All right. There we go. All right, so yeah, we can you can like hop in these things and drive them. I'll show you guys. So we're gonna use this to fill up our trailer with the poo a lot faster. Um, yeah, let's go left here. Ah, uh, yeah, because we're gonna bring this back and we're just gonna dump this big, big pile um, right next to where we're gonna put our greenhouses because we might as well just make one trip and do like a lot in that one trip. All right, so let's see if we can do this. All right, hit F1 so we can check out what we're doing. So yeah, you can like move these, but very, very slightly. Can I turn it at all? Will it let me turn it? Uh... There we go. Okay, so. We got the poop. Uh oh. I just realized something. We need a shorter trailer. Oh no. Alright, I think we need to get a bigger belt then. Or a bigger conveyor belt. <sighs> what about this one? This helps. Go from one belt to the next one. This one loads it. Okay, so this is what you need to start, and this is what you need. Okay, okay, I gotcha. We got this. All right, so. Oh boy, we're gonna go bankrupt again. All right, they need to finish our. Okay, so we're gonna take this. All right, we're gonna hop out of that. All right. Oh. Hit the tree. Alright, so let's go pick up this next conveyor belt. Alright, there we go. Now we're moving. I wish I hadn't done this before because I spent like 15 minutes uh, just sitting there scooping poop. And it took forever. Oh, in between those two people, about hit them. Alright, yep, this is what we want. 
This is the same thing we always use for, uh, move it. Oh, over there. Come on, let's go. Hook up to the hitch. Oh, no. I think we may... Do we have to use a trailer for this? No, we don't. We shouldn't. Or not a trailer, a tractor. Uh-oh, guys. All right. Looks like we gotta use a tractor for this. I'm gonna drive back, snag the tractor with the universal bucket on it, and drive him over here and grab that. All right. And then, guys, let me know down below. Um, I've been thinking about this for a little while now. I think I said this in one of my uh, recent videos. Do you guys want me to try a little bit of logging on here with the way that uh, that like the creators of this game intended? Let me make sure this one. Yep, this can this can take it. So yeah, do you guys think I should do that? Um, like plant the tr I think you plant the trees in the actual fields and then you log it from there um, somebody in one of the comments said that I need to get something before I decide to do that so I'll go back and make sure I find that comment and read that one and just so I know exactly what you think I should have before I start this thing was like an auto loader auto, yeah, auto loader something like that and um, I think yeah I'll probably just go through read the comments see what you guys say but do you think I should try and do logging on this map, or do you think I should just go to a whole new like modded map, like maybe one of those FDR logging maps that I have, or maybe that brand new uh, Black Mountain map, um, and just do the entire side of the mountain? All right, there we go, we got it. Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think I should do. Ooh, I think I might have hit that. Um, but yeah, let, let me know what you guys think I should do, and that's pretty much what I'll do because whatever you guys want to see is what I'll do. I've been really kind of itching to do some logging lately. Um, I might pull on the squad or split the TV for a few episodes with me, mainly because they know how to do logging pretty good, just like I do. I think I might be having Split TV join me in another one of these uh, uh, single player videos soon when we do pigs. I mean, like, because pigs, pigs are a lot of work from what I've seen, and I think it'll be really good to have another set of hands around the farm that are not workers. And yeah, it'll just be a lot easier for me. So how are we gonna set this guy up? Um, don't want it in front of the slurry because I might start doing slurry soon, and I don't really want to have to move this. All right, I think. Okay, I think I know how I'll do it. I'll move this out of the way first. This is really funny. I'm setting up something so I can automatically just take poop. Alright, so I think I'm going to have this going this way. Like, I'll have to. Ooh, I'll probably have to turn around and pull it up here. I'll have it so I can just back up the trailer. Oop, that can hit that tree. Yep. I'll have it so I can just back up the trailer and be pretty much done. Um, it'd be nice if I could pull the trailer in here. What, what am I doing? Oh, gotta change the front. There we go. Right. Um. No, you dropped the wrong one. Drop that one. Oh no. This isn't good. I have to move this a little bit. There we go. Now I got my front loader back, or my my bucket back. All right, so I can just move this out of the way because. We're going to have to move it anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, there we go. Alright, now we'll fold this back up. Man, those cows are angry. Alright, so... Try it like this. Alright, just going to have to do a little bit of some maneuvering. Man, these things are really weird to work with. And are we lined up there? There we go. All right. So then we'll get on this big one. Move this all the way up because we have a big trailer. Um, call it about there. See what that comes out at. It looks like a not not too bad of a spot. 
All right, let's grab. Where are we dropping at? There we are. All right, all of this so we can just get the automatic. Like, just so we don't have to do it anymore, really, because probably have to be refilling this up quite a bit. Alright, so now it just fills and we don't even have to do anything. Let's see if the pile is coming down. Okay, yeah, that's coming down. So we're going to need to make sure our cows always have straw. Because them eating the straw is what makes the poop, I'm pretty sure. I think I read that in the, like, uh, help area. Because I, I just went through and read that. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's barely hitting right there. Alright, so yeah, that's all. I should have bought that conveyor belt because we're, we're just going to always have it. Dang it. Alright, but yeah, so this should be good for us. How much poop is left? I wish I could see that. Can't really see that. You can see how much slurry we have. 73,000 worth of slurry, which is a lot. Alright. Oh, these beans are almost. Let's grab the red truck. Grab the red Ford. The 450. Alright, let's go grab our other smaller trailer and let's empty the, um, the harvester. What have we got in here? We got anything? Nope. So we're just gonna do this while we wait for that guy to fill. I'm not sure how long he'll. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure how long he'll actually take to fill, but I don't want to sit around and wait for that. So I want to drive up over here and empty this guy. I may get a little bit of money. Cause we're now at seven negative seven thousand dollars. Wow. We went bankrupt real quick. All right, and then this guy will probably take a while. I'm not gonna pipe out. Oh, it was I out of. Might have been out of range. No. Oh, look at that. Right there. Right on the edge. Alright, this guy is done here. We'll drive him up here. Um, looks like the workaround field 12 is almost finished. Alright, we'll drop this guy off right here. Uh, we're still filling up about 46 percent let's see what jump over this little hitch come on let's see what this pile looks like now oh boy we are running out quickly I wonder how fast that'll fill up because I've never emptied this before maybe we'll never have to grab any more manure ever again uh, I think I know where I can store this too. I can store it in a really good place. I have uh, one of those extra shed placeables. Alright, we're just gonna... Alright, is this all done? We got a bunch of soybeans. Where should we sell? Oh, we're 20% for the sheep, everybody. I wonder how many pallets we're at now. I need to go check. I haven't stopped at the sheep in a while. Ooh, gold crest. 2,800. Like 2,800 like a bushel or something like that. I've never been able to tell what it is like per per yield or whatever it is. All right, we'll go over here to Goldcrest, we'll sell this, and then by the time we sell this, oh, we're getting some air. We should be good. Oh, shoot, oh. Yeah, this is another reason I don't really like the Ford that much. It kinda is squirrely. Oh, somebody sent me like a version two of this Ford, and I uh, I still have to go in and download it, but I did see the comment, and I will be checking that out. Um, mainly because I'm also curious to see like, I don't know what it is. Um, I think it might just be an updated version of this. Maybe it's not as like squirrely and it works a little bit better, but I don't know yet. Yeah, see, because as I'm going, it just like, it is fishtails. It's really weird, but I think it should be good. All right, we'll turn here. We'll drop this off. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there we go. Bring us out of the bankruptcy. I should probably just do soybeans for a little bit because soybeans make a lot of money. And I don't think we need any straw quite yet. I did want to do straw and I think I may have started planting wheat or corn. I'm not sure what it was, but yeah. I, can, I think I planted corn thinking that corn produced straw but in reality, it's just wheat and barley. I completely forgot about that. I'll have to check and see what this sower is doing right here. So I'm just gonna quick, I'm gonna tab out real quick. 
slow down. Uh, we are planting, oh, sunflower over here. Never mind. What the heck? All right. That's weird. Oh, looks like we got our full trailer load. Or not full, but we got like 60% worth of manure here. I think that'll be good. I think I'll wait like a day or two and then stop back just to see what like the before and after of how much poop 23, pig, uh, 23 cows actually generate. Might be a lot, might not, I don't know yet. But we'll drive this back, we'll dump this off right next to the, I think right next to the bee house because that's we'll, that's where we will end up putting the uh, tomato and lettuce greenhouses because we'll put at least one of each of those in there. Probably next video actually, mainly because I just really want to see what those are like and see if those, like if those really do generate a lot more. But yeah, so that's what we'll do, and then we will probably end the video with that. So all we gotta do is drive back, get this place down. I might place a placeable like uh, vehicle shelter looking thing over it. Maybe a bunker, I don't know. I don't think you can place bunkers, but something like that just to store this uh, manure for a bit. Oh, whoa there. My bad, didn't mean to hit that guy. And then when I do the logging thing for the trees, I think I might try and do it on field 24 or 23. I'll just do a little bit more work off camera, doing some little things for those farmers and whatnot. All right, so let's see. So that shelter right there, I think I own that. And I think I wanna move it over here. So let's see. Let's check our garage. Mm, yes. So, it's a small one. Oh man, which one do I do? Let's see how much they, are, they cost. Hopefully it's not a lot, just in case I do mess up. 9,000, that's not terrible. Um, okay, let's just hope I don't mess up the one I'm gonna delete. All right, we got a 50-50 chance, so let's just go with this one. Um, never mind. good thing we didn't go with that one. Do this one. 4K, four and a half thousand. All right, we'll get rid of that. And now we'll go over here, click on this one, click buy. Then we're gonna wanna place it. Oh man, they're not gonna let us place it anywhere, will they? I wanna get it right here. That's where I really want it to be. Are they really not gonna let me place this anywhere? Really, right here? Let's rotate the camera, see what this looks like. This is a big shelter. All right, is there s smaller ones? Uh, I don't know, everybody. All right, I guess we gotta do one of these. Man, that bums me out, they want me to put it right there. They want to put it on a field, that'd be bad. Uh, Okay, guys, I think we're just gonna do it right here. And we'll put the greenhouses right here. Ooh, too far. There we go. Move it back as far as we can. All right, right there. That's where we're gonna go with it. All right. Oh, it looks a little weird now. All right, and we're gonna put. Oh, look, you can see all the poop still there. Alright, so we will do this. Just back it up right here. Alright, then we'll unload it. Man, getting this bigger tipper was a great idea. Alright, we'll unload. Oh, we gotta move forward a little bit more. There we go. Alright. So now we got a little area for our manure to be stored. A little bit on the edge of this um, field, but eh, it's not it's not it's not terrible. I'll try not to drive over the crops as much as I can. But uh, I think we're gonna end the episode here, guys. We got the bee house planted, or we got it built. I guess not planted. We got the bee, ho bee house built. We got another way for us to pick up manure a lot more efficiently than before. Oh, you can hear little bees buzzing and everything. But uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, especially if you made it this far in the video. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot to know how many of you guys 
are looking forward to seeing my videos and I think at 20,000 subscribers uh, or at least somewhere around there I will be looking into doing a giveaway I'm not sure what I'll do yet uh, probably not a farming simulator game unless you guys want me to do that because I figure you guys are watching this you probably have a uh, farming simulator but uh, I don't know what I'll do but thank you guys for watching if you like the video hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next one